Hi boys and girls, Miss Lisa. We are going to read a story about swing, slither, or swim. What do you think those words might have to do with? Swing, slither, or swim? Hmm, I wonder. Well, this story has to do with animals and the way an animal moves. So Swing, Slither, or Swim is the name of this story, and it's written by Pat Patricia Stockland, and the pictures are illustrated by Todd Oren. So let's find out what happens with our animal movements. Animals have many ways to get from here to there. Some animals move sideways to get across sand. Others make huge hops to look for faraway food. Some creatures even swing through the trees to escape from predators. Find out how many different animals get around and why they move the way they do. So we're gonna find out. Oh, what is that? Yeah, that's a kangaroo. Kangaroo, a booming, powerful bounce moves the kangaroo across the plains. This animal jumps on strong hind legs, but the kangaroo uses more than just its legs to move around. Its huge tail helps the kangaroo balance during its long leaps forwards. Sometimes kangaroos have to search large areas for food. Hopping helps them travel from a long, for a long time without getting too tired. So there's the kangaroo and they hop and they use their tail for balance. Oh, oh do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a lizard. But this lizard has a name. It's a special name. He's a gecko lizard. Can you say that? Gecko. Geckos. It turns upside down and back around. The small gecko can walk up and down any surface. This tiny lizard can walk on walls and hang upside down from tree branches. Special toe pads help it climb and stick to almost any surface. Being such a good climber helps geckos reach food that other animals cannot. Most geckos can even climb on smooth glass. So that's pretty cool. They have like little pads on their feet that are sticky. So they can hang upside down, they can go up, they can go down, they can go over and under, all of those different things. <gasps> what is that? That is a big fish, isn't it? That is a blue fin tuna. Fast fins swish and flutter as the bluefish, bluefin tuna quickly swims by. Tuna swim like most fish with a side-to-side -side motion. So their bodies kind of do this when they're swimming. The movement of its strong tail pushes the tuna swiftly through the deep sea. This fast-moving fish travels long distances across the oceans. It feeds on other fish along the way. To go even faster, the tuna pulls some of its fins closer to its body. This movement helps streamline the fish or make it so it's in a straight line so it swims faster. Tuna swim very fast. Oh, what is that? Yeah, that's a monkey. This one is a spider monkey. That's its name. It's not really a spider, but that's what they call him. A left arm, a right arm, and a tail go swinging by. The spider monkey swings through the trees. Swinging from branch to branch is a great way to get fruit. The monkey's super strong tail helps it hang upside down while holding on to supper. Staying in the trees keeps the spider monkey safe from predators. Predators are things that want to hurt the monkeys. The spider monkey's tail works like another arm. The underside is bare for extra grip. So just some cool things about a spider monkey. They're pretty neat to watch. They swing really, really good. Do you know what that is? Yeah, we don't talk about this one very often. This is a gazelle. Rapidly running across the plains, the gazelle quickly moves through the grass. The gazelle is a very graceful animal. It is also very fast. Running helps these hooved animals get away from speedy predators such as cheetahs. Cheetahs like to eat gazelles. Gazelles can also leap straight into the air when they are scared or surprised. A gazelle's stiff leap is called stodding. 
gazelles use this strange jump to warn each other of danger. The bounce means it's time to make a quick escape. So gazelles, they tend to hang out in groups um, for protection. So yeah, because those doggone cheetahs, they chase them all the time. So what do you think that is? Yeah, that's a snake. This particular snake is a sidewinder, they call it. Side to side wiggles move the sidewinder over the desert sand. This rattlesnake doesn't move like other snakes. It presses its head and tail down, which moves it in a sideways motion. Then the sidewinder tosses itself to one side. Up goes the tail and over goes the snake, rolling sideways across the sand. Sidewinders live in dry, sandy deserts. It's easier for these snakes to throw themselves over the ground than to slide through the sand. So normally snakes kind of slither through the grass. These guys live where it's really sandy and it's hard to slither through sand. So they kind of do this sideways motion instead of the forward motion. And what do you think that is? Yeah, that's a jellyfish. First, a big push, then a long glide. The jellyfish propels itself through the water. The jellyfish moves by jet propulsion. First, the creature fills its bell-shaped body with water, then it squeezes the water back out. This strong push of water sends the jellyfish forward. Some jellyfish float along the water currents rather than propelling themselves through the ocean. So sometimes jellyfish just look like they're kind of hanging in the water. Um, they can sit pretty still or they can swim pretty fast. So it's kind of a strange movement to watch a jellyfish. And this one, oh, what do you think that is? Yeah, that's a bat. It swoops, dives, and flies in the night. This little bat flaps its wings quickly. The bat is the only mammal that can fly. Its wings are skin stretched between long fingers at the ends of their arms. Strong chest and back muscles help bats move their arms. Some bats catch food while they are flying. Others, such as fruit bats, fly to reach their supper. And I know when I'm out in my backyard sometimes at night when I'm by the fire, um, sometimes we have a fire in our backyard and you can see the flies flying around catching the mosquitoes and they catch them as they're flying and they eat them. They love mosquitoes. What is that? That's a penguin. Yep. It slides, splashes, and swims in the water. The penguin loves to play. The penguin is a bird that does not fly. It waddles awkwardly on its feet. Sliding is faster and easier. The penguin slides on its stomach over the ice and snow. What a funny way to go. Penguins move faster through water than on land. These black and white birds swim like dolphins, leaping in and out of the water to breathe. Penguins are pretty awesome to watch. So there we go, that is the last animal. So we learned a bunch of different ways to move. We can jump, we can hop, we can kind of roll sideways, we can go on our tummies if it's slippery, um, all kinds of different things. So maybe today you could work on some of those movements and get some exercise and come up with some other ones that maybe we didn't even talk about. Like we could do hopping like a bunny or we could do, hmm, running. Yeah, like a cheetah. Yeah, and like the cheetah that comes after the gazelle. Cheetahs are very fast. So maybe you could have a race today with a brother or a sister or somebody and see who's fastest. All right, well, you have fun with that. Bye.